This is truly exciting news for our modernizing maritime forces. Prop Mech has just confirmed the development of new designs for the multi-purpose attack craft, MPAC, which have even more advanced capabilities compared to previous models. These MPACs are like our very own version of the CD-90, a well-known Swedish combat boat, but tailored to meet the specific needs of the Philippine Navy. If the Navy proceeds with this, it's certain that our fleet will not only become more lethal but also significantly more versatile in its operations. The future looks bright for our naval assets. The MPAC has long been a critical element of our naval forces, especially for quick strike operations, so hearing that more advanced versions are coming is something we should all be excited about. These craft have proven themselves time and again as reliable workhorses for high-speed troop insertions, special operations, and now, with the MK-3 and its missile strike capabilities, they've become even more of a game-changer. But here's where things get even more interesting, there are preliminary talks happening within the Philippine Marine Corps as well. Imagine, bro, PropMech could also develop a specialized MPAC variant for the Marines. These vessels could be used for coastal defense and troop insertion missions, bringing a whole new level of combat readiness to our Marine Corps. Although nothing has been finalized yet, the fact that discussions are ongoing is a very promising sign. If our Marines get their own specialized MPACs, it would be a massive leap forward in terms of flexibility and capability. Coastal defense, amphibious operations, and rapid troop insertion missions would be executed with even greater speed and efficiency. These types of missions are essential, especially given the challenges we face in securing our territorial waters, particularly in the West Philippine Sea and other critical areas. It's all part of the bigger picture of modernizing the armed forces of the Philippines, AFP, and ensuring we're fully equipped to handle the increasingly complex security challenges in the region. Let's take a step back and talk about the evolution of the MPACs. The first and second versions, the MPAC MK1 and MK2, were primarily designed for troop insertion, getting soldiers into the fight quickly and safely. They were fast, efficient, and served their purpose well. But as our defense needs evolved, so did the MPAC. The introduction of the MK3 was a significant upgrade, transforming the craft into a multi-role platform. It wasn't just about troop transport anymore. The MK3 brought with it missile strike capabilities, specifically equipped with the Spiker missiles, allowing it to engage in offensive operations against both sea and land targets. This was a huge leap in capability, and it showed that the Philippine Navy was serious about increasing its combat power. And now, with Prop Mech confirming that they have new designs in the pipeline, it's clear that they're pushing even further. What's truly exciting about these new designs is that they're not just theoretical concepts. Prop Mech has a solid track record of delivering practical, battle-tested solutions that meet the real-world needs of the Philippine Navy. These new MPACs are expected to be even more lethal, versatile, and capable of supporting a wide range of missions, from missile strikes to special operations and beyond. The adaptability of these craft will make them indispensable assets in our maritime defense strategy especially as the Navy continues to focus on modernization under the AFP's Horizon 3 program. And it's not just about the Navy anymore, if the Philippine Marine Corps gets their own variant of the MPAC, we're talking about a whole new level of operational capability. Specialized vessels for coastal defense, troop insertion, and amphibious missions would greatly enhance the Marines' ability to operate in diverse environments, whether it's securing remote islands, conducting special ops, or defending strategic coastal areas. The prospect of having MPACs that are custom-built for the unique needs of the Marines is an exciting development and could really boost their operational effectiveness in the coming years. Imagine the kind of impact these new MPACs could have, bro. Whether it's securing our maritime borders, 
launching quick strikes in contested areas, or inserting special forces into hostile environments, these vessels could do it all. Their force multipliers, plain and simple. And as we face mounting challenges in the South China Sea, it's clear that having these kinds of assets is crucial. The Philippine Navy and Marine Corps need to stay ahead of the curve, and these new MPACs could be just the thing to give us that edge. It's exciting to think that these discussions and plans are in motion, and if everything goes well, we could soon see these advanced MPACs becoming a core part of our maritime defense strategy. It's all part of the bigger picture of not just modernizing the AFP but also making sure that we're ready to meet the security challenges of tomorrow. If these new MPACs materialize, they will undoubtedly be a game-changer for our maritime forces. Let's keep our fingers crossed that this project moves forward quickly, bro, because if it does, we're looking at a brighter, stronger, and more capable future for our maritime defense. These new vessels could really be the force multipliers we need to secure our waters and ensure the safety and sovereignty.